All right, so now we've moved on from the four lead EKG to the 12 lead EKG, which will include our four lead limb leads. We'll have placed our limb leads, and then we have six more leads to place. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. In order to find the locations necessary to place these, we start by finding the angle of Louis. We drop down to one intercostal space just beneath that, and that will be your second intercostal space. We'll go down one more, that's your third intercostal space, and one more, that's your fourth intercostal space. This is where we'll place leads V1 on the right side of the sternum and V2 on the left side of the sternum. Then we'll come and we'll find mid-clavicular, drop down into the fifth intercostal space, come around to mid-clavicular, and that will be the placement for our V4. Then we'll go mid-axillary, right here on the side, in the fifth intercostal space still, that's our V6. Now we split the difference and stay in the fifth intercostal space to actually our anterior axillary line, and we'll place V5. Then for the last one, we're placing V3 on a straight line between V2 and V4, and we'll place V3 right here in between those two. Now on a person, We'll have placed our limb leads, come a little closer to me. Our patient's right arm. Our patient's right leg. <laughs> Left leg, let's move that over so that it mirrors the other one and left arm, okay, and then attached to our regular four lead, we have our other six leads. I'm going to come to this patient, I'm going to follow down until I find their angle of Louis, okay, then I'm going to drop into that intercostal space there, that second intercostal space, third and fourth intercostal space. Now, on a patient with an extremely hairy chest, we might have to shave the patient in order to get a good cohesion between the electrode and the patient's skin. So I'm gonna place V1 here on the right side of his sternum. On the left side of the sternum, straight across, I'm placing V2. Then I'm going from that fourth intercostal space, jumping down to the fifth intercostal space, and I'll follow it right over. This is the fifth intercostal space for this patient. We're going mid-clavicular, which is just off to the right side of his nipple a little bit. And that's where we're replacing our V4. Then I'm going to move, the, move to where I can access the patient's mid-axillary line, following this intercostal space all the way around. Then I'm going to place V5, okay, and then I create that straight line between V2 and V4, and I place V3. And that's the placement for a 12 lead. Another consideration that we need to have when we're placing 12 leads is excessive adipose tissue, really large breasts or really sagging breasts will often be in the way of our placement. How we'll get around that is we'll use the back of our hand, we'll get under the breast and we will scoop it up out of the way and get as close to that fifth intercostal space as possible. If it's just not reasonable to reach that space by going underneath the breast, we can go across the top of the breast in extreme situations.